Hey, you were great today, Lucy. See you tomorrow. Okay, I'll see you at six in the morning. Hi, honey. Sorry I'm late. Mm. No problem. Oh, you wouldn't believe it. I had to pose for at least 30 different setups today. And if that wasn't enough, they're sending a limousine for me tomorrow at the crack of dawn. I heard. Oh. What's that? What? Oh, this. Isn't it gorgeous? It weighs a ton. It must be at least 18 carats. They gave it to me. They? Who are they? The garment people I posed for. They wanted me to wear it with one of their cashmere sweaters. And I liked it so much, they said I could keep it. Isn't that sweet of them? Very. Well, have you eaten dinner? I can fix you something to eat. It's 10.30. Yes, I've had dinner. There's stuff out there if you're hungry. No, I'm really too bush to eat. Well, if you're going to study, I guess I'm just going to go right to bed. Do I look like I'm studying? No, but you always do after dinner. Either that or you work. Yeah, I just said I don't have to study and I don't have to work. All right. Don't bite my head off. I'm sorry. Mitch, what do you say? I go back in the hall, come in again, and we'll start all over, huh? Lucy, do you realize what's happening to us? No. But apparently you do. We're like roommates. We pass each other either coming or going. We don't have a marriage. We have a quick change routine. And naturally, it's my fault. Well, it certainly isn't mine. I don't have limousines calling for me at dawn every day, and I don't come dragging in at 10.30 at night. Oh, no. Oh, no, now that I just won't take. You said it, mister. You said it loud and clear. We'll live on our income. Remember that? I didn't say our income. I said we'd live on mine. Oh, great. So you're going to park cars and work at the lab for nickels and dimes, and we're going to live happily ever after. Is that it? Yes, if we have to. I don't believe this. What rule book did you drag that out of? Something that was written in the Dark Ages? I don't need a rule book to tell me how I feel. Feel about what? Well, that damn gold chain, for one thing. D don't you know I want to be able to give you things like that, but I can't? Oh, Mitch, stop it. Yeah, what? It nickels and dimes, or you'd have to wait 10 years. OK, I'm sorry I said that. But it's not my money, and it's not your money. It's ours. What difference does it make who earns it? It makes all the difference in the world. Now, if you don't see that, and if you can't understand what's wrong, then we're in real trouble. You said it, not me. Just remember that. Lucy, look. No, you look. I have had it up to here with this stupid macho act of yours. I work my butt off to bring money home so we can live decently, and I'll be damned if I'm going to apologize for that! You really don't see anything wrong, then, do you? Not a thing! Oh. Well, I guess there's nothing left to be said. Artery of the thigh located in the anterior inner chamber. Mitch. I'm sorry, what? The femoral artery. Femoral artery. Let's sit down. Never mind. He's going to bear down on the carotid anyway. What's the matter? Trouble in paradise again? How'd you know? Oh, a couple of iced teas. I just kind of guessed. You know something? You seem to know what I'm thinking before I tell you. One of my many hidden talents. Yes, but you're not only talented, you. Don't stop. I love it. You're good to talk with. Meaning you don't talk at home? When? Lucy was out of the apartment by 6 this morning. She didn't get home till after 10 last night. Working? Mm-hmm. And that bugs you? No, not in the way you think. But you see, I can see what's happening. Lucy and I are drifting apart, and she does not understand why. Do you? Yes. We have totally different values. But, no, it's not Lucy's fault. After all, she's a Ewing. Now you've lost me. I believe something has value only when you work for it. But if you're a Ewing, you don't have to work. All you have to do is hold out your arms and everything you want falls into them. I have a simple solution. It's not really very simple. What's that? If you want to stay married, one of you is going to have to change. 